Hello and welcome. Whipped cream. Everybody loves whipped cream, especially during this time when it's a time for treats, the holiday season. So today I am dedicating this video tutorial to show you how to make whipped cream two different ways. The first way is I would recommend for use in shops because it is easier to make, it is faster and it is cheaper. You can make use of the same amount of ingredients for more cups. The first method is using a cream whipper or whipped cream dispenser. This is a canister which usually comes in half a liter or 500 ml. So the tools that you will need to make a whipped cream using a whipping cream dispenser is the cream whipper. This costs about 2000 pesos if you're ordering from Shopee or Lazada or any of your suppliers. And for this we also need chargers. Now chargers come in this box which contains 10 cylinders all together and each cylinder can only be used once. So it's a single use charger. And one box normally costs about 200 pesos. So per canister, you will need about 20 pesos to cost for your charger loan. You will also need a scale to measure your whipping cream. You will need a beaker or a jug that you can use to mix all your ingredients together before you put them in the whipped cream dispenser. I am also going to use a shaker. Now the reason why I'm using a shaker is because the ingredients call for very cold water. And to make your water really cold, put water in the shaker, add ice, shake it, voila, you get very cold water. You will also need a stirring spoon and a measuring cup to measure the water that you will need to include in your ingredients. So those are the tools that we need to make our whipped cream using the cream whipper. Now, what about the ingredients? Ingredients, there are only two major ingredients. First is, of course, your whipping cream powder. And the best starting point is to read the packaging label. Normally, the label will show how much water you need, how much cream you need to make your whipped cream. In this particular brand, this is a local brand that I have here, it says to make use of a whipping cream dispenser, I will need 125 grams of my whipping cream powder, this one, and 475 ml of water or cold water. You may use water or milk to make your whipped cream. If you use water, your whipped cream can last in the refrigerator for up to about seven days. But if you use milk, your whipped cream can only last for about three days. Of course, the price is also different. For me, it is fine for shops to use only water mixed with whipping cream powder. Now, when it comes to whipping cream, there are also two types. One is sweetened and another is unsweetened. For this, I am using unsweetened. So once again, check the packaging label on the recommended proportion of water to the whipping cream powder. And because it's Christmas time, I am going to use a flavor for my whipped cream this time. I'm going to use white chocolate. So I'm going to make a white chocolate whipped cream. Now, if you're not using white chocolate or you're just using plain whipped cream, you may add vanilla just to make sure your whipped cream tastes and smells better. So today it is white chocolate whipped cream using a cream whipper. What about costing? Using a cream whipper, the total cost I estimated to about 80 pesos per one canister. And how many cups can you make? It really depends on how much you put per cup. I would say you can make up to 10 to 12 cups using one canister of 500 ml whipped cream. Now, if you use a flavor to add to your whipped cream, then you have to put the cost of the flavor on top of your plain whipped cream costing. In this case, I use white chocolate, so the total cost of my one canister of whipped cream is about 98 pesos. So it's about 10 pesos per cup, if we can make 10 cups altogether. So it's time to get started with method number one.
Let's take a look at the second method. For the second method, I would recommend this is useful for home use. If you would like to make whipped cream for home use for your friends and family, there is no point in investing in a whipping cream dispenser. But we need to use different tools. The tools that we need to make our whipped cream using the second method that I'm going to show you are the hand mixer. Now this is an electric hand mixer which you can easily find in appliances store or electronic stores or even on Shopee or Lazada. They're not very expensive. So normally they come with two beaters like this too. And how do you use it? All you have to do is to plug the beater in, wait for it to snap and that's it really. So two beaters there. If your bowl is big enough, you can use two beaters. But today, I'm going to use only one of them because I only have a small bowl. And how do you take it off? You just pull it out, as simple as that. So we need an electric hand mixer. Once again, we are going to use a scale to measure our whipping cream powder. We are going to use a shaker to make our ice cold water. We are going to use a stirring spoon and a measuring cup to measure the water. Now, today I am going to make a homemade strawberry whipped cream. So the ingredients that I'm going to use for the strawberry whipped cream will be, once again, the same whipped cream. This time, according to the label, it says I will need 125 grams of whipping cream powder, the same, and only 175 ml of water. So because this is using the electric hand mixer, all you need will be less water. So it's already more expensive than using the cream whipper. So 175 grams of liquid, but because I am going to use a flavored whipped cream, which is strawberry, I am going to need a strawberry puree. You can also make your own puree, strawberry puree, that will taste even better. Or you can use strawberry syrup. Use any brand that you have available to you. Finally, you need a bowl to whip your cream in. My recommendation is to keep this chilled before you use it, or you can put the bowl in an ice bath. That means a bowl with ice, and then you put this bowl on top of the ice bath so that your cream will be faster to whip and also it will remain stable for a longer period of time. What about costing? The total cost for this whipped cream, strawberry flavored whipped cream, is about 90 pesos but the resulting whipped cream is not as much as half a liter or 500 grams of whipped cream. Most likely, you may be able to use it for only up to five cups. So the cost per cup will be more. So what I would recommend is if you use a very thick whipped cream using the homemade method, you only put a dollop. You don't have to put a lot. When you use the hand mixer, it comes in different speed. So you start with the low speed because there's powder there. You don't want the powder scattering or spattering all over. So you start with a low speed. At this point, when it is soft and fluffy, I'm going to add my strawberry puree. This is going to be a delicious strawberry whipped cream. What do you do with this? You put it in a piping bag and you can put this on your drinks.
That's all I have today. I hope that you will try these recipes at home. Let me know how it goes for you. Perfect for your holiday menu. I'll see you again in my next video tutorials for more coffee and tea recipes. In the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.